I had some leftover ingredients from my shrimp and avocado summer rolls, so that's why I wanted to make some bun mi hot dogs. They're an American classic with a Vietnamese twist, and they're perfect for the 4th of July or any summer barbecue. And if you think about it, it's actually really appropriate for the 4th of July because I think one of the best things about America is that it's a melting pot. So come on, let's head back into the kitchen and I'll show you how to make these. I wish that our grill was outside right now, but there was so much construction going on on our deck and around us for the last couple of months that we haven't brought it out yet. But not to worry because I can just use my little grill pan. And what you're gonna need for these bun mi hot dogs is hot dog buns, hot dogs, olive oil, carrot, cucumber, jalapeno, cilantro, sugar, salt, white vinegar, and hoisin sauce. I'm gonna start out with a simple pickling marinade for my carrots, cause you know, the classic taste of a bun mi is to have pickled vegetables. So the pickling marinade is simply two tablespoons of white, distilled white vinegar, just plain vinegar, a teaspoon of sugar to balance out all that acidity, and a half teaspoon of kosher salt. And then you just whisk it up until everything dissolves. Take a minute. Okay, that's good, I'm just gonna put this aside. Now I said I had some leftover ingredients from my shrimp and avocado summer rolls. So I did, they were exactly, you know, I had this leftover cucumber, some cilantro, things like that. So I'm just gonna julienne my cucumber. And you don't have to worry about having a specific amount. This is literally just garnish or to taste. Okay, that's enough for me. This recipe is for four. So I have my hot dogs and four hot dogs and my four buns, but I'm only gonna really make two because it's just for Joe and me today and I don't like to have waste. Some jalapeno, and this is Joe's favorite part. Sometimes it's a little too much for me to eat just raw slices of jalapeno, so I kind of pick them out, but I don't know. With this hot dog, it kind of works. And lastly, I need my pickled carrots, so I'm gonna slice this thinly. Give this to my cameraman. <laughs> I mean, this is super easy and you don't have to be so fancy or particular, but if you don't wanna even deal with this, then just buy the shredded carrots. This carrot was pretty small, so I feel like it was an, it's enough for us. But if you are gonna make it for four, you might wanna use a slightly larger carrot or just use two so there's enough. I'm gonna just throw this into my pickling marinade. Okay, I'm gonna give it a toss. And all you have to do is let this chill out for 10 minutes and that's all it takes. I mean, if the longer you wanna do it, the better, it's fine. Now, I tend to just pickle the carrots only and leave everything else fresh and raw because I like to contrast. I don't want it to be too vinegary all throughout, but it's up to you what you wanna do. And I have, for hot dogs, you need hot dogs. So these are quarter pound hot dogs that I got from Costco. You know, the ones that they actually sell to eat at the food stand, but they have them in packages right next to their normal hot dogs. And you don't have to do anything to them. You just have to throw them on the grill. And now with these buns, these I also got from Costco because they just match. They actually, these are what they serve from the food stand exactly. They already come split, but you know, you just want to open them up just a tad more, making sure they still stay hinged and you're gonna brush them with olive oil. And be a little bit generous with this because we're gonna throw these on the grill first too because with the traditional banh mi, sometimes there's, most of the times there's mayonnaise. I feel like for this, just to keep it a little bit different and lighter, I'm gonna use olive oil instead, but you'll still have that like luxurious taste. Consider this a very important part of the recipe. Now, if I had an outdoor grill or a grill pan, like a long one that covers the burners, this would go easier for me. But instead, I just have this little guy and I squished my buns into there. But they're doing fine. You just put the olive oil side down and it's just been going on medium high heat for a little bit. Ooh, nice. See? 
buns are hot. Yeah, you just want it to be a little crispy to the touch so you can make sure it'll stand up to all of the toppings. Oh yeah, I mean, there's nothing better in life than barbecued meat, right? You know, just turn it around a few times until it starts getting plump and a little bit crispy on the outside and then you're done. After that, we're just gonna head back over here and I'll show you how to assemble everything together. Easy, easy recipe. Aren't these so adorable? I just picked these baskets up from a cheap store and I just put some parchment paper in here. And actually I got red, white, and blue baskets. Aren't they cute? I'm just gonna put a little thing of chips in here and call it a day. I have to top off my grilled hot dogs with some hoisin sauce. This is just to replace the whole ketchup or mustard need. And you know, they sometimes have these bottles of hoisin sauce in Vietnamese restaurants for the pho next to the sriracha. Ooh, you could put sriracha on top too. That wouldn't be bad. This is just kind of like a, an Asian sweet barbecue sauce, so it has kind of like a sweet and salty taste to it. Some cucumbers, and then of course our little pickled carrots. This adds a nice little sharpness and contrast from the meatiness and the beefiness of the hot dogs. Some jalapeno slices. And then the last touch, the fragrance and the beauty of cilantro. Now tell me that doesn't look special to you. It's so mouthwatering looking and smelling from all the fresh herbs. I can't wait to dig in. So let's do it. Cheers to America. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to America. I hope you enjoyed this. I know that you will because he's had it before. Perfection. Perfection in the bun. Mm. I heard that crunch. Isn't it amazing how these tiny little tweaks makes this hot dog so special? Unlike a regular hot dog, it feels a little fresh. Mm -hmm. It just really works. For substitutions, there's really nothing I would do, but if you are a little conscious about carbs, you could always do something different and change it out with some lettuce leaf wraps. You can also use this technique of the pickled vegetables on any sandwich and just make it special. Add it to your next turkey sandwich. Be sure to stay tuned for our behind the scenes video. We'll leave a link for you at the end. You can see the making of this episode. And I hope you enjoyed watching this. And if you did, remember to push like, leave a comment down below and subscribe to our channel. And I especially hope that you have a great 4th of July with family, food and friends. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Bye. So Joe, did I do a good job? You did an excellent job. <laughs> oh my.